All right, what is up? Day 68, how's it going? Hi, friends. 68, that's a lot. I got to start getting some of these posted. It's been super busy, so I haven't. Uh, I feel like I got two weeks posted, and then I kind of took a pause. Like, I ran into, like, YouTube upload issues, and I don't know. I could fix it. And some file issues, like, my phone will offload files, so a little bit of a trouble. But Anyway, Wednesday, typically today is a rest day, but I train today because I'm going to rest tomorrow because I have to be on or my call for my shoot tomorrow. I have a commercial shoot, film shoot um, at 7 a.m. So I didn't want to wake up at like four to train. So I just moved my rest day from today to tomorrow and my workout from tomorrow to today. So I got a little, little upper body in today, which was pretty good. It's pretty good upper body day. Last night, I helped a buddy move about eight tons of gravel. Me and it was a bunch of middle schoolers and then my wife. Uh, and eventually, another friend came over and helped. But, you know, that's a lot. That's a lot to move. I, I probably moved half of the wheelbarrows at least. So it was good. Nothing hurts. Lower back's a little tight, but we'll get that stretched out. Make sure that there's no lasting residual pain or anything. I got a little blister on my hand, which is kind of cute, like working at a desk job, you know, get blisters on the hands often. So I kind of have a weird outfit on today. Maybe I shouldn't have the hat. I have like a golf shirt and uh, I'm going to mass tonight. It's a mass of, I think it's the anniversary of one of the orders. Maybe not the Dominicans. The I can't remember. One of our priest friends is of this order. Opus Dei, I think that's what it is. Opus Dei, maybe? So anniversary of Opus Dei, and there's Mass at uh, one of the churches that is brand new, beautifully remodeled and awesome, and it's where Monica and I met, which is really cool. So we're going to go to Mass there with the kids, and then afterwards we're going to go get some ice cream and stuff and hang out with friends. So that'll be fun. We're excited to do that and be out and about in downtown and do some good stuff, get some good spiritual, you know, work in and then go enjoy, enjoy some snacks. So eating wise. So if I want a little bit of ice cream, what I'll probably do is I'll probably do some dad tax on the kids. So a bite of ice cream. So I need to come up with a pithy way to estimate a bite of ice cream. And I think a lot of times what I'll do is kind of look at a serving, like half a cup or a cup of ice cream and be like, how many bites would that be for me? Like half a cup, maybe three or four bites. So I'll log it probably as like a turtle ice cream, half a cup or something like that, and just have a bite from a couple of them just to get a little taste. And then, of course, we'll probably have some beer. So, you know, we're sitting on the lake, got to have some beer, probably some heavy beer. So today, I basically am just going to try to eat my protein, try to not have too much extra, or I just won't have too much extra. Like I have a Jimmy John's Unwitch. But it has mayo, and the mayo is 160 grams, or 160 calories, uh, and that's all fat. So, what is that? 18, something like 18, uh, let's see, 15 would be 45, 9, 13, yeah, maybe like 18 grams of fat or something, so just save that, have it in carbs. It is something I want to do better about. I want to make sure my fat, I hit my fat content every day, get my sleep and my fat content for good hormone production. As we know, I'm very low on my testosterone, so might be able to repair that through other natural ways as well, even though we are take, taking like the andro gel. But yeah, we'll eat mostly macro, mostly protein focused today so we can enjoy ourselves a little bit more tonight. And I mean, I did put in hour and a half, two hours of work last night uh, shoveling gravel, so that counts for something, but we don't ever increase our calories, but we can at least acknowledge it, you know, acknowledge the fact that we had a lot more expenditure yesterday. So I don't feel bad, even if we do go over a little bit today because of that. So that was good. I'm continuing to test EverFit, loving it. I have an Ever, a call with EverFit people today. This again is a training app because I want to get some guys training. I don't want to be the trainer for them. I want to be the facilitator, but I'm going to get some guys training and, you know, just kind of work on that system and get that system together for them. 
Let's see. Right, come on over. And eventually I'll bring some trainers on to do more of the heavy work. But I'm liking it. It's an app that can kind of systematize all the training. So essentially what I need to come up with is start developing the first several months of the programming and then look at the next several months and start hopefully getting guys in in, in a week or two to start beta testing. But my goal is to get them in, get them testing for free. <clears throat> and, or, you know, maybe we'll do the alpha test for free and then the beta test can be highly discounted. I don't know. We'll see. It's going to cost me like $200 a month or something for the platform. So I want to make sure. Yeah. It's like my investment, you know, can I be smart about it and have other people help invest in the development? Right. Yeah. Because I can invest my own money, right? I can invest my own capital. But then I also want, you know, if I can find a smart way to have other people help pay for development costs, like, that's pretty dang awesome. Let's see. Oh, crap. That's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Fix the shutter. Make me a little brighter. That's better. I should use the tools as they're built. But I'm excited about that. Oh, I got to jump to a meeting. I got to go. You guys do good. Be great. Thanks for hanging. Yeah, we'll talk more about this tomorrow. So, do good, be great. See you next time. Sayonara. Hit that follow. Cheers.